Today we're going to learn about speed word problem. Let's say we have a problem like this. At 10.30 a.m., a cyclist started traveling on a road at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. At 2.30 p.m., a motorist started traveling from the same place and on the same road. If the motorist took four hours to catch up with the cyclist, find his average speed. Now the problem states that at 10.30 a.m., a cyclist started traveling on a road at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. So let's first draw this road. Let's say this is the road that the cyclist and the motorist were driving on. So, at 10.30 a.m., the cyclist C for cyclist starts at the speed of 60 miles per hour. Now at 2.30 p.m. a motor started traveling from the same place and on the same road. So a motorist at 2.30 p.m. a motorist started traveling this way and we do not know his speed. Now let's say this is where the cyclist is at 2.30 p.m. Now, we know that the cyclist traveled this distance in, let's find out how many hours. So 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. is four hours. So the cyclist takes four hours, four hours to travel from here to here. Now let's find that distance. So the cyclist at 2.30 distance, C for cyclist at 2.30, D for distance, is equal to the number of hours, which is 4, times his speed, which is 60 miles per hour. This is equal to 240 miles. So this means that this distance is equal to 240 miles. Now, we know that the motorist took four hours to catch up with the cyclist. So the motorist took four hours to catch up with the cyclist. But we know that during that time, the cyclist is still driving. So, let's say he ends up here and the motorist catches up. Cyclist and motorist. So that's the point where the cyclist and the motorist catches up. And this is another four hours. This is another four hours. So, we know that in another four hours, the cyclist goes another 240 miles. So this means that the distance from the start to, from the start to the, where the cyclist and the motorist meet Distance, D for distance, S is from the start, to C and M is where the cyclist and the motorist meet, is equal to 240 miles plus another 240 miles 
which is equal to 480 miles. Now we need to find out what the motorist's average speed is. So we know that he takes four hours to catch up with the cyclist right here. So the motorist takes motorist takes four So M for motors, T for takes, F for H is for four hours. So this means, so the motorist's time is four hours. So this means that the motorist's speed is equal to the distance over the time, which is D for distance over S for time is equal to 480 divided by time divided by the time which is 4 hours and this is equal to 120 miles per hour so the answer to this question which is find his average speed is 120 miles per hour Today we learned about speed word problem. Thank you for watching this video.